So I'm outside in the garden today on this beautiful sunny afternoon. Look at it, it's just amazing. I've laid out all the dahlias that I bought on my Sarah Raven course last week. And I went on the course because I've decided to properly get a grip um, with a cutting garden this year. And we grow loads of flowers here, but really, really randomly. And I wanted to get a bit more organized. You know, and one of the reasons was so that I could film it for you guys as well and uh, teach you how to do the same sort of a thing. The dahlia of the moment, as I'm sure many of you will know, is a one called Café au lait. And Café au lait is this beautiful, creamy, slightly peachy one. It's, it's very bridal, so lots and lots of sort of weddings would use that flower in their arrangements. The other one I decided to go for that we haven't grown before is one called Labyrinth. It's similar in form to Café au lait, but just a little bit more open and beautiful, really, really gorgeous. So to grow in with Café au lait and Labyrinth, I thought it would be great to put something dark and moody. So I've chosen Verone's Obsidian, and I really love that. So my random daily that I picked was one called Emery Paul. I'm just going to show you that there. So it's a really hot pink. And the thing about this one and the reason I've chosen it, it's not only the color, it's the size. It is absolutely enormous. So you could just have one of those in a vase on its own and uh, um, it would just be stunning. I've soaked my dahlias for an hour in tepid water and um, obviously as you can see I've soaked them all, I'll be doing that later but the ones that I've just done some a few to show you guys today how to go about it. So literally I've soaked them, here they are soaking. I've got some grit in the bottom of my trays. What you do is you just sit them in. Some of the tubers are more like sausage-like shapes and some of them are rounder. Essentially, just dip them in and then just lay them out and each one of these will become a plant. And what you need to do is cover them with soil and then just label them up and then keep them watered and um, if it, like here we've got the stem so that's where it was cut off and that tube was taken from just let that stem poke out but in the case of this one it will grow up through the compost the main thing is they don't need to be buried very deep they're literally here because they're going to put on some leafy growth and as soon as that leafy growth is kind of happening then you're going to be able to put them out into the garden and let them grow away. So there they are. And that's literally all you have to do. I've got one there, one there, and I know I've got these here. And I've got a little label here, which I've written earlier. So this is Dahlia Emery Paul. So this is the, definitely the party one. I'm just gonna pop that in there. So once they're in, I just give them a little bit of a water. Finger. Now, you don't want them to be sopping wet, but you don't want them to completely dry out. So just keep them a little bit moist. So over here, so I've planted the Verone's Obsidian, Café au lait, Labyrinth. What I will do is plant loads more of those, but I just, as I say, wanted to get these ones started and show you guys today how to plant your dahlias. So say, it's really, really simple. I think the hardest bit is deciding which ones are going to grow because there are so many. As a kid, my parents only grew orange dahlias. So I have a little bit, oh, I have had a phobia of orange pom-pom dahlias. A very 70s they were, and I've just about got over that, which is why it's a, a massive step forward, the fact that I have bought and planting labyrinths. Okay, a little bit of a water for these. Bingo. And there you go. So once you've done that, you can carry them inside if you wanted to have them inside, if you don't have a greenhouse, and just put them on the floor. Um, somewhere where there's lots of light would be great. Otherwise, um, put them in your greenhouse. So it's not too late to nip down to your garden centre and buy, these, buy some dahlias. It will be so worth your while to get some dahlias planted. 
So I'm putting my dahlias on the floor here because I know nobody actually won't disturb them there. 